Hey folks, Coach Jason, welcome back to the channel. So I want to continue on my mile, two mile um, workout and training and performance um, kind of sequence. And today I want to go over how to run a sub 11 minute two mile. Take a look in the description down below. I have how to run a sub 10 minute two mile. I also have how to run a sub six minute mile, sub 530 mile, and sub five minute mile. Training that you should be uh, working towards, fitness indicators that tell you how ready you are, and so on, okay? After this, I'm going to uh, continue adding to the mile protocol. I'm going to add how to run a sub 7 minute mile and a sub 630 mile. So take, uh, keep an eye out for that as well. Okay. Today, the focus is how to run a sub 11 minute 2 mile. Alrighty. Um, sitting down for the most part because when I stand up, it kind of cuts my head off. So <laughs> hope you don't mind. Um, by the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy the content enough to come back. If you do, hit that subscribe button now, particularly if you're a coach or an athlete. Um, this channel, you're going to find some of the best content out there, okay? So hit the subscribe button, hit the bell next to it so you don't miss what I'm putting out moving forward. But you see 100 plus videos that I've already put out. Fully detailed training from 800 all the way up to the marathon, specific time goals, okay? Cross country training, injury prevention, all different types of stuff, threshold training, training in bad weather, <clears throat> all different types of things, okay? That would be beneficial to you. And it's stuff that you can even check it, take a look, compare it to your own, or utilize bits and pieces of it too formulate your own training programs, anything you want, or you can follow them, okay? Everything on there I've used either personally or on my athletes over the last 20 years, and I am a, I have competed and coached, and I've said this in my other videos over the last 20 years at the high school, college, and post-college level. I've also coached everybody from beginners all the way up to the elite level, okay? And I'm also a USATF, USATF certified coach and a Wharton certified musculoskeletal and flexibility therapist. So um, with that, let's get to the nitty gritty. How do you know you're ready to run a sub 11 minute two mile? How what do you, what things that to look for or train towards? Number one, from a strength standpoint, your 5K should be around 1732, 1730 ballpark. Okay, um, your mile should be around 504 to 505. Okay, um, approximately. Now, training components. Okay, and by the way, how do you know? <clears throat> you know whether you're at that mile. Or, there's a video down below. I'll also I'll also book it in there. It's a one mile time trial and what it tells you about your current fitness and what it tells you about your your how close you are to the longer events and the shorter stuff like the 800 and 400. Very very important. Very very detailed. Watch it from beginning to end. I would encourage you to not pause it. Write stuff down and then click off because you're going to miss a lot of details. Okay, and I don't want you to miss out because it explains everything here. Okay, and the other video on how to how, how to set the right training paces based on what you do in the one mile time trial. Also, watch it from beginning to end. I encourage you to watch all my videos, anything that you watch from beginning to end, because I do explain things in between the lines and so on and so forth. Stuff that's not written on here, I go into further detail. So I don't want you missing out on important details, especially if you're a coach or an athlete. Okay. Um, okay, number three, something to build towards a tempo run. I, I've come across a lot of athletes who are just heavily inter interval trained and just easy runs and there's a lot there were a lot of missing pieces and the tempo run complements all these things okay um you know I, I and i'm using the jack daniels uh 20 minute uh 20 minute example of a tempo run okay um for folks that train for the mile 3k 5k it is important to build them up to a, at the minimum of a four mile tempo run i do it differently um i break it up into six pieces and then eventually up to four miles and for a sub 11 minute miles, your tempo should be around 610 to 605 per mile, approaching six minutes per mile, okay? Um, which is about, this is 530 per mile, so that's about 40 to 35 to 40 seconds slower per mile, all right? How I do it, I break it up into six pieces. I have them do it pretty much every other week, okay? The first time I have them do two times six minute with a two minute recovery at the goal tempo pace. Two weeks later, then I add that up and do 12 minutes consecutively, okay? Two weeks later, two times eight minutes with a two-minute recovery at the goal tempo pace. Then two weeks later, 16 minutes consecutively. So we're going 12 minutes, then 16 minutes, and now we're going to go to 20 minutes. Then I go two times 10 minutes with a two-minute recovery at the goal tempo pace, and then 20 minutes consecutively at the tempo pace. At that point, you can go to two times two mile or two or, tw or four miles consecutively, depending on how things are progressing for you or your athletes. That's completely up to you. Okay. This is kind of how I break it down. Obviously, what you do in between those two-week period is important as well, but I can go into detail and complement that with some of this stuff, which will help make the tempo much easier. But this is a way of, instead of doing 20 minutes every time and only being able to hit a certain amount of it at, at, uh, 
for slowing down, this is a way of mitigating any slowing down or deceleration, okay, and progressively building towards the goal tempo. Okay, um, not every workout needs to be long. Not every workout needs to be super hard. Okay, it's a gradual progression to get you to the point where you can run this. Okay. Um, and, and, and then train towards the next goal, sub 10.30, sub 10 minutes, whatever it is, okay? So tempo runs are important. Short reps, short and fast reps, okay? 200 meter efforts and 400 meter efforts, okay? Examples, eight to 10 by 200 meter with a one minute recovery at 800 meter pace, which in this case is 33 to 34 seconds, about a 215, 213, 216, 800 meter, okay? 400 meter efforts at six to eight of them with an uh, starting a 90 second recovery, and if, if it's a repeatable workout, you go down to one minute recovery over time. Okay, at mile pace, which is 74, 75. 75 is about five minute mile pace, so it's a second faster per lap. Okay, now longer reps, 800 meter efforts, five to six of them with a two minute recovery at 3k pace, 245 to 243. Okay, okay, 245 is 530 per mile. Okay, um, 243 slightly faster. Okay. And then 1,000 meter efforts, four to five of them at two minute recovery at 5K pace, okay? 331 to 328, that's goal pace. Okay, right on or slightly faster. Then threshold reps, okay? Which is, you know, the same distance, maybe 860 uh, or thousands or even longer, but you're doing, it'll, you can do more of this. It's got a shorter recovery and it's run slightly slower. Threshold is slightly slower than race pace, but slightly faster than tempo run pace, okay? But it's a non-invasive way of building up volume and doing a lot of it and being able to come back quicker um, from a recovery. It's also a good race week workout. Okay? It doesn't sap the legs. But it's a great way of enhancing fitness as well. Okay? And you complement tempo runs and things like that with threshold reps. Okay? Examples, six times an 800 with a one-minute recovery at threshold pace, which in this case is three minutes to 258. So yes, slower than those. And then your 1,000-meter threshold reps. With a one minute recovery, five of them at 345 to 342, which is the same pace as this, just slightly longer. Okay, which you see is slower than race pace uh, for the 5K. Okay, as a, you know, you think about it too for a two week cycle that you might repeat twice over a four week span, and then you modify the training after that. But what you can do essentially is, you know, you can do 5K pace and a part and a tempo run week one, 3K pace and threshold reps week two mile pace and a tempo on week three, 800 meter pace and threshold reps week four. I mean, you, you could repeat that and you know, within your easy runs and your long runs and your steady runs and whatever else you have, okay? That's kind of a way of putting forth a four-week cycle that enables you to get 5K, 3K mile pace and 800 meter pace, as well as tempo running and threshold running, okay? You don't have to have it all in one week. This is a great way of breaking it down. Like I said, a repeatable two-week cycle, okay? Um, and that you can modify after four weeks for periodization purposes. So just a thought, okay, this, I, I do things like this with athletes that I work with, okay, with success. Um, and like I said, which is a multi-pace training cycle, okay. The more you incorporate different paces on the shorter end and, and the longer end, or the slower and the faster end, the more you're setting yourself up for long-term success, okay. The more versatile you are and your athletes are, the better off they're going to be, the more dangerous they are, okay. Uh, and at, at this level, a day off every 14 days um, in training, depending on what your training volume is. Um, but a day off every 14 days, you can even do on the alternate, let's say, you, you know, every uh, other Sunday is off. But even on the alternate Sunday, you can go for an easy bike ride. You can do long run Saturdays. Um, how, whatever works for you and your athletes most efficiently, but especially when you consider in lifestyle, job, school, all the other things that you know, force you to kind of modify their training. It is what it is, but you can still make this work, okay? Um, now, training paces. Easy pace for this one is about 750 to 720 per mile for easy runs. Steady runs, 720 to 650 per mile. It's slightly faster, obviously. And then a progression from easy to steady, 750 to 650 per mile. You have the minute range, the slow end here to the fast end there, okay? Um, as you get fitter and faster, the progression runs become a little bit different, Um but uh, this is a good way of kind of laying out the training. Um, and these are bookmarks to look for. Other workouts, yes, there's plenty of different workouts you could do. Um, but these are great examples, you know. And particularly, I didn't go uh, beyond the 1,000 meters 
um, because I don't know what your experience is and so on. The more experience and the more fit you become, then you can start lengthening the reps of the threshold and the rate and the repeats and so on and so forth. It really depends on what you're training for, okay? And, and your training volume and, and all those things that come into play, okay? So, but this is a good video on how to run a sub 11 minute two mile. Let me know what you think. Okay, if you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up. And again, please hit that subscribe button either way. Make sure you do that right now and hit the bell next to it before you leave so you don't miss the next training videos that I'm going to be putting forward. Okay, and you can take a look at all the ones that are already out. So, and always look in the description. I always put a bunch of them there that are always relevant to the video that's being played. So, I hope you enjoyed this and be safe and be well. Thanks for watching. Talk to you then.